Now, welcome to another edition of Revealing God. I'm your host, Brother Victor. Today, we're talking about dreams. And dreams is one way God has communicated with mankind throughout history. And we see that happen to Abraham. We see that happen to the other patriarchs. We see that happen to Joseph. We see that the dreams happen to even people that were not close to God. Nebuchadnezzar had dreamed. Pharaoh had dreams. And these dreams were God's message or ways of passing information to people throughout our time. And God said in the last they impart spirit on people, and people will, old, young, as old men will dream dreams, uh, while young men will have visions. So God is in the business of giving dreams. But we must understand that there are three sorts of dreams, and we should not just say dreams are just dreams. God gives dreams, we know that, but we can also generate dreams by our own spirit. The Bible says through the motto of business, men can draw, you know, generate dreams. You know, when your spirit is more active through drinking during the day, you know, over eating, the Bible says men can you know, actually generate dreams by themselves. Then, thirdly, they are demonic dreams. The Bible says in Zechariah 10 verse 2 that, you know, the idols of the violence gave them false dreams and visions. And we therefore must know, understand that men who are under demonic attack in their dreams, men who have dreams of nightmares, that have shaped their destiny because it's inhibited in the body. If we have dreams that are demonic or in evil dreams, sometimes we have dreams of death, it's a warning, at least a sign of warning that the spirit is involved. Because dreams are your spirit being interacting or you know in in is interacting with by either the spirit world or interacting with other spirit beings. Your spirit is active only when you dream. That's why most time devil before he attacks you will always come when you are sleeping because you, when you are sleeping your spirit man becomes active spirits don't sleep so we have to understand that we are to nip it in the board if you don't want to manifest but spirit anything that happens in the spirit will always manifest in the physical if not change the good thing is that you can change it to prayer and that's why you need to pray and take it serious take your dream very seriously because the information that can shape your future remember have demonic dreams but you can also stop demonic dreams you can prevent them one way we must understand that demonic dreams are projected through the front loop i was sleeping one time and i woke up in the middle of the dream and i felt a spiritual hand on my head which was projecting a negative dream that was many years ago and then i said understand that you know dreams are projected by demonic entities through the front lobe into the mind of the person and you know the other the certain religions that talk about third eyes here the, the, yeah that third eye is a demonic ass of the enemy into your head so we have to understand that we can avoid negative dreams because they can shape our destiny and one way to get a victory about dream negative dream is to be born again and be on god's side but you can cut out the powers of darkness from you. Then second of all, if once you're born again, make sure you renew your mind with the word of God and pray your mind if you're having bad dreams and demonic attack. God, devil got your mind, but you have to claim that mind back. The Bible says, now all imagination that exalted itself above the knowledge of God. So deal with it. It's your responsibility. So we need to understand this. And so therefore, if you must deal with you know demonic dreams, you're always having it. Like you're gonna pray on your front loop, you're gonna, you know, anoint it, you know, use uh, anoint, uh, communion to wash it and keep praying in it what you don't have those dreams. You have to stop it because dreams is is an avenue for the devil. If the devil has your mind, he has an avenue to come into your, your, your life to pass information to your spirit, which will cause you to ultimately attack you. So he raises the gateway with them to attack you in the spirit. But anything that is happens in the spirit, well, um, physical. So many of you have had dreams, and later you see it materialized in the physical. Many of you, you have you have dreams projected to you, people sleeping with you in the dream, and you see it manifest in the physical. And the other day, it's the devil stealing your virtues, the devil make, trying to make sure it tabs your destiny. So you need to be, you know, take it serious and leave it in the board by praying about it. And if you're not born again, try to born again, but that's the first side you can, you know, be harmed with the mind of Christ then you can tell, use the word of God to attack it and also pray in your mind. So, but if you're already born again, tell somebody about Jesus Christ. So I hope to see you again. God bless you. Thank you for your time.